What's going on YouTube? Tim here. Um, I am posting a video that uh, I said I was going to do um, a little while ago and that is on um, uh, processing a hide uh, for coyote pelts. Now um, this is not going to be very in-depth because I have limited space on this um, camera. Well it's on my phone and um, uh, this is just um, me posting on my process. Now, I'm not a trapper. Um, I get these coyotes from a friend who is managing his land. He does have um, two small daughters and a few dogs and his dogs have been attacked various times. Um, so he, this is, um, you know, uh, me making, um, you know, the best out of just, uh, you know, his, his, uh, uh, property management. So given the opportunity, I would, um, take a coyote. Um, uh, but, um, I mainly hunt for turkey and deer. Um, but, um, here's a look at the coyote here. It, um, was shot, I believe two days ago. Um, I'm up here in Vermont. Um, rigor mortis has set in. It's, it's not frozen. Um, but, uh, um, uh, you can see that the animal is stiff here, I believe it's a female and you can see it's dripping a bit. Um, I have had, I strung it up earlier today, um, in preparation for this. Now, um, um, I've already done a few pelts and they've come out okay. Um, but, uh, um, yeah, this is my process. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to pause this while I get this started and I'll kind of talk my way through. So what I usually do, um, I uh, string it up through here through with a piece of paracord and um, I start the incision um, right around here making sure that I don't, uh, you know, sever this tendon or else whoosh, everything falls down. Um, what I'll end up doing probably is um, uh, cutting around the leg, meeting here in a Y, um, and kind of start working my way back. So I'm going to pause this real quick and um, get started. Be right back. All right, so I have started here, as you could see, um, I cut around the ankle here, and you can see this tendon um, is being flexed right now, or there's tension on that tendon right there, um, and that's what's holding us up, and if I, I mean, I actually, last time I cut this, and I cut here, it kind of forms like a little hook because it's a little bit hard, so it theoretically would stay for a little while, but Obviously, you don't want to cut that, especially if you're, you know, harvesting meat off this. Well, you would, most people don't eat coyote. I guess you can. I never would unless I had to. But with the deer or something else, you definitely want to make sure that you're not dropping your meat onto the ground. Um, just, you know, it doesn't mean it's, it's inedible. It means that it's, uh, you know, a little bit tainted and might taste weird, whatever. Anyway, um, so what I did do is I made um, those cuts on both sides and what I'm gonna do is I I've already met as you could see here um, up into the chest area and what I'll do is I'll probably take it down here to the clavicle um, cut straight down here um, peel everything around and start working my way um, uh, through here and around to the head. <clears throat> what I plan on doing with this, which I did with my last one, which I hadn't done with my other four, was um, peeling the uh, the hide from the skull, and um, so you could still see the, you know, so it's almost like a, you'd have like a hood of the coyote. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working that down, and I'll be back with you in a minute.